Hi, Gemini's. How are you guys? <laughs> um, I'm just like chewing on something real quick. <laughs> We're going to tap into the next 48. How are you? How are you? How are you? I hope everybody is doing very, very well today. Let's see what the next 48 is looking like. These are all general reads and personal ones, so please take what resonates and throw out the rest for someone else. If you guys want to book with me, all that information is in the bio. Cross watches are also welcome here. Welcome to flip the roles if necessary. Energy is fluid and it might just show up in reverse for you. Now go ahead and thumbs up the video. Um, this way YouTube can see that you thumbs up the video, push the videos forward into a better audience or a larger audience and have the video grow so the channel can grow. That's the, the way of showing support for the channel, okay? If you want to donate, go ahead and do that as well. You can press the super thanks button or you can die, um, send it to me directly. All that information is in the bio, okay? All right, so let's just see, Gems, what we have for the next 48. Next 48 for Gemini's. What's the energy for gems? Next 48 hours for Gemini's. Next 48 hours for gems. Thank you, Angel Guides Ancestors. What's going on for the next 48 hours for Gemini's? Next 48 hours. Thank you, Spirit Guides, for being here. Appreciate it. All right, one more shuffle, and then we're going to slide. Six card pull. Next 48. Okay, now, gems. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Justice in Reverse, Major Arcana. We have the Tower in the Upright, Major Arcana. We also have the 1111. The Four of Wands, we have the King of Wands, and then the final card is the Two of Swords. Balance. Ooh, our need for balance, I should say. It's like it's time. This is coming up. That Two of Swords energy is coming up within the next 48 hours. It's funny because I believe I just did your no contact read and that Two of Swords energy did come up as well. So you might want to check that out if you haven't already. Um, so the seven of pentacles, I feel like it's time to get prepared. It's time to get ready for some kind of changes that are coming in for you. And I feel like this is yours. This is something that you have always wanted. This is something that you have always talked about. This is also something that you have wor been working on. And you have been very patient with this information, with this life changing event. You just wanted it to come back. What, Whether it's um, something that you have been working on for your success in life or if it's a person that is going to come into your life to invest in you, okay? Um, so I'm seeing this energy and you're getting ready for some kind of change. You're hearing from the grapevine that this is coming in. I'm also seeing like something about being unjust. So something is coming in. But there is an unjust situation here that might not be fair to you because I just feel like there is some form of lies here that you're dealing with. Like there is a coming back, but this person is not willing or this situation is not willing to really tell you or reveal the truth about a certain event. Okay. I'm also seeing that this was a relationship that ended very dramatically, whether it is a corporate situation or a decision or it's a relationship between two people or, you know, something like friends, family, but it just ended so crazy because of a lot of control, a lot of masculine energy. Um, the tower is ruled by Scorpio and Aries for me. So it's like a lot of masculine, a lot of, I want to be in charge. I have all these ideas. I feel like we need to do this and that's it. Not really a lot of space of compromising and really getting to hear each other's thoughts and 
um, wishes out, right? So we can get to a conclusion together. Um, I feel like within this energy, there was a lot of mask or a lot of like plain roles here. Um, and you didn't really know who this person was or these people were. I just feel like they were hiding their true face from you within the tower energy. And I'm also seeing like this could have been a marriage for you. For some of you, this could have been something to, that involves your home as well because this is the 1111. And I feel like within the 1111 being here as well, it's given me that energy of wanting to possibly work this out and move forward from this because this is the future card, right? So wanting to have some kind of, you know, possibility within the future, even though you went through this transition together and really working hard to do so within the King of Wands, being determined, being very passionate, um, having this connection with this situation, still don't want it to be a failure and doing everything in their power as a masculine energy to be successful. So there's not a lot of people that, even if there was a lot of people around this king of wands trying to advise them to do something else, it's not going to work because this person has already made a decision from today. They already made a decision to continue this. So, and now I'm seeing a decision that needs to be made. So the decision is very um, complicated, difficult, um, I'm also seeing like this could be someone that you have been dealing with for a very long time or this could be a corporate situation that you have been dealing with for a very long time and you have to make a decision but it's going to be very hurtful um, whether or not you do this or not this is what I'm seeing it's like wanting to do something knowing that you have to but you know having this blindfold energy on it's like okay well maybe we can put this off for next year maybe we can put this off for six more months maybe we can just continue to see what happens in three months from now it's like you you're always waiting for some kind of evidence or some kind of update before making this decision it's like you're really trying to just have a lot of time because you don't want to make this decision. That's what I'm feeling right now. That's what I'm feeling, gems. The next 48 hours. And this is also about peace because you and this energy, you are going your separate ways. Like you are grown in two different directions within a Tour of Swords. Um, this is also the peace card for me. So it's like you're just trying to make a decision without ending it rapidly without breaking a bridge where you're not, you you won't be able to say hi to each other on the streets or you know in an event or something you want to you want to leave on good terms because this person means a lot to you this corporate situation means a lot to you uh yeah so seven of pentacles please what's the energy next 48 hours for gemini's we have the high front making a decision. So this could be a marriage. Ooh, marriage is coming up twice, you guys. Very traditional beliefs here. Uh, making a decision to work on something and staying with it despite other people's beliefs. So Taurus is also coming out here. Tell me more. There was a lot of lies that this person tried to get away with. But it didn't work so the lies are out but the decision has still has been made to work something out or continue to invest in this you don't have the strength but angel michael is here to give you that strength and that guidance and to tell you like everything is going to be okay and to be calm within the strength within leo so for those of you who are dealing with a leo leo is also coming out as major arcana taurus libra um scorpio and aries Tell me more. Tell me more. Then you have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords energy is also coming out here. So there was a break. But I'm seeing like something about that break is over. So tell me about the justice. Wow. They're still trying to protect themselves. Lie to you for some reason. It's like this secret... Whatever this secret is, they don't want you to know. And they're so focused on you right now. 
they feel like they're <laughs> they this is a, one of those energy like they feel like the the secrets are going to mess up the remaining relationship that they have with you the, rem the remained in um connection that they have with you i'm seeing sag energy within the artist i'm also seeing scorpio within the death in reverse so this person hasn't moved on <laughs> Um, this person is stuck. They don't know what to do. Scorpio's energy is Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus placement. Sag energy is Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus placement. Tell me about the tower. They don't know what to do with this tower. You don't know what to do with this tower. You don't know how to fix this. This is the Two of Cups, you guys. Those, so I'm getting marriage material here. They've got mutual feelings for each other, mutual desires, mutual love for each other. This is not like one person feels one way and the other person feels another. This is mutual. So this is why there is moving towards working this out no matter what. But you have been like putting this person above you or vice versa. This person has been putting a lot of energy in you and you're not giving them the same energy so this like i'm hearing like someone here has been given so much energy and given so much love and affection and this person just forgot their grace and forgot to say thank you you know when someone has nothing in life and they meet you and you build them up and then when you build them up, they just leave your ass to the dust. And I see that happen to so much of my friends and family members. <laughs> so this person forgot that they were once broke. They, they didn't have a car and you got them everything or whatever example that might have been. Like they had bad credit and you build up their credit. You gave them so much and they forgot they forgot all of that all they remember now is that they have everything and they did it you know what i mean they got the house they got the car they got the job and they don't know they don't remember how they got there so tell me about the 11 11. there's a decision that has been made and has to be made because this person is overwhelmed so there was a, a, a energy of going back and forth. You felt some form of way about this. Look, the two of uh, pentacles and then you have the high priestess where you just felt like something was off here. You did not trust this person's, you know, excuses or alibi that you had going on. Your intuition is like, all over the place it's like you are receiving messages this is hurting your life this is hurting your lifestyle and you don't want to believe what the angel guys have been sending you you don't want to believe what angel michael have been sending you, you don't want to believe that what Raphael has been sending you or gabrielle has been sending you you just want to ask others you're trying to get confirmation knowing what you already feel within your heart so cancer is also coming up. So some of you might be dealing with a cancer and you have so much on your back, so much on your plate. So you are the one that has been keeping this foundation afloat. You have been the one that is a masculine within the king of wands trying to make this very successful no matter what, knowing that you still have to make a decision, but you just putting that off. Because you know that this is a loss for you. It's like you're losing a lot of money because you invested so much. You know, it's one of those businesses that you don't want to let go of because, like, that's an example. Like, if this is a business, you don't want to let go of it because you have put in so much money and you're just going to lose everything. Tell me more. You have the Queen of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Cups, a lot of insecurities. Even though you're still like pushing through, you have this emotional insecurity. Like this person is not yours or you're, you know, it's like 
and now you have the page of swords so you know that this person has someone that they go to and talk to and share their dreams and worries to i just don't feel like it's you like this could be a best friend or something oh this is a past lover oh lord you see how that came out gems you're saying that this is a past lover or this could be flipped where you are the past lover gems like you're saying to me that this person used to come to you tell you everything and now you're finding out that they were in a relationship um but your belief is that this relationship was very toxic this person is codependent it could all be in reverse as well like they told you that they were in a relationship where someone is codependent they did everything for that person but it's not true because i'm seeing that person gave them everything <laughs> all right tell me about this two of want two of swords excuse me two of swords Ooh, wow what a okay i feel like within this situation you're going to take you're going to choose yourself you're going to choose your 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 success you're going to choose your your abundance your money your stability this is what i'm seeing like you're taking charge with the king of pentacles and taking care of your situation and you're going to be you're going to be cutting someone off with its queen of swords like you're going to be cutting someone off um you don't want to do this bridge thing you don't want to be doing this two of swords where you're going to have to make a decision and not talk to this person anymore. You want to have some kind of connection where you talk to this person still. You you want to be able to know if they're okay and stuff like that. But it's like this person is not giving you a choice. Tell me more. The fools. Yeah, you're doing it because you don't trust this. You're moving very slowly towards the situation. There's no trust. There's a lot of insecurities. Um, a lot of you are getting ready to move. I'm seeing you moving by yourself. All right, so what's the advice here for the next 48 hours for gems? The advice. Wow. Look at that queen of uh, wands energy. Remember who you are. Remember that you are the sun. Remember that you are nourishing. You are kind. You are warm. You're easy to approach. Remember that you are patient. You are a mother in every way. Even if you are a male within this life, you are just that person that people run to and navigate to because they feel safe. You are safe. Not to say that you're safe and you are the safe option, but they know that you, they don't have to guide their hearts against you. They can release their hearts and know that um, you're not going to ruin it. You're not going to step on it. Everything that you say is truth. Okay. All right. So remember who you are. Not to say that you're not doing bad things now, but this, but the angels want to remind you who you are. All right, so you have the Eight of Wands. You have the Ten of Swords. So here you are again, Gemini is coming out with the Ten of Swords energy. Um, that is you. You rule the Ten of Swords. And then we have the Knight of Swords. So Aquarius energy is also coming out here. Another ear, ear form. And then the Eight of Wands is ruled by Sag. So a lot of you might be dealing with a Sag because we had Sag as well within the king of wands energy the king of wands is ruled by sag the ten of wands is also ruled by sag so there's a lot of sag energy and elements here that are also coming out okay all right and the temperance is ruled by sag oh, wow <laughs> the temperance well the artist i should say the artists that came out here so the angel guides, your angel guides are telling you that the messages are going to be moving very slowly. The messages, the confirmation that you want from this person. I feel like this is something that they have been holding back within the seven of wands. Like you have the justice here than the seven of wands, right? But yet this person is watching you and keeping up with everything that you do. It's kind of like this obsessive awareness about you as well. And they have been stuck. They haven't been moving on since you. And the angels are saying like, 
the the messages it's like i'm hearing my dear know that the messages are coming in but they're going to be moving very slowly know that this love was real as well even though you might feel that the love isn't real but the eight of wands is is basically what it is it's like things happen very quickly between you and this person and they're also bringing up the fact that you need to heal and forgive and to let go and close chapters this chapter thing keeps coming up for you within the ten of swords and you need to let that go whether it is from this person or other experiences or from your family all the way back within your well energy so you need to really focus on that and close these chapters and forgive these people for not there's for them is for you and um just know that there is going to be a forceful energy coming into your life like this person trying to force things on you or try to force you back in a relationship or instead of them sitting down with you and being nice to you and telling you how much they miss you and they want to be with you they're saying well i want you here now i want i'm giving you a second chance so this person might just have walked away from you and you didn't have any place to get that clarity or get that um that healing done so you can feel free to move on right um this person might have just left right right there like within the tower energy because i'm seeing like a sudden it wasn't any time to heal or get closure or get confirmation and so now this person is coming back and giving you an ultimatum like i want you to come back by wednesday or else it's really over and it's like forcing you into this situation well the angel guys are just like heal yourself right now don't worry about that heal yourself right now remember who you are because you hold the cards you do this is what i have i hope it resonates all the information is going to be in the description box don't forget to thumbs up the video here on the yt by showing your support and your love by helping youtube to push forward the videos and making it very successful so that the channel can be okay love you guys and i'll see you guys in your next one bye guys